Today, let's dive into the golden era of Hollywood and uncover a story that's as charming as its subject, the tale of how Archibald Alexander Leach transformed into the ever so dapper Cary Grant. Firstly, let's roll back the reel to a time when our man Archie, because that's friendlier than saying Mr. Leach, was a mere mortal strutting across stages in vaudeville. Yes, vaudeville, that's where the magic began, but no rabbits or hats were involved. Just good old talent and a dash of serendipity. Fast forward and Archie finds himself in the land where dreams are packaged and sold, Hollywood. But here's the twist. Hollywood was more like a fussy tailor, always altering names to fit the glitzy suit of fame. And Archie, well, he needed a name that wasn't just a name, but a marquee-worthy moniker. Enter the Paramount Pictures Wizards. They conjured up Carrie from Carrie Lockwood, a character our Archie portrayed in a play. And Grant? That was plucked from a list like a winning raffle ticket. Why Grant? Maybe it sounded grand, or perhaps it was just short and easy for flashing lights. And voila! Cary Grant was born, a name smoother than a silk smoking jacket and sharper than a tuxedo lapel. But here's the kicker. Cary himself said he'd always be Archie Leach. Beneath the debonair demeanor, the effortless charm, and the twinkle in his eye, he remained that boy from Bristol who took Hollywood by storm. So, there you have it, folks. A nickname that wasn't just a name, but a ticket to stardom. Cary Grant, a name that sounds like it should be whispered in a hush of awe in cinema halls. It's not just a name, it's a legend. And legends never really leave us. They just fade to black and roll credits. And remember, every time you watch a Cary Grant film somewhere, Archibald Alexander Leach is smiling, tipping his hat to the magic of Hollywood. What are your thoughts? Leave us a comment and let us know.